Um, he says, okay, Mike West says, uh, companies are looking for machine learning engineers, not data scientists. Um, yes and uh, no. Um, that absolutely depends on the stages you are in. Uh, I have made a live stream about this. You can check this out in details. I don't know how, how was that called? Uh, every data science job explained or every major data science job explained. But let me let me quickly try and bring this up. <clears throat> Maybe I can quickly find the presentation that I, I created for this. Um, or uh, I, I can't find it. Let me, let's just explain it. So the, the idea is, um, a a data science project has has different phases, right? So you're starting. Usually, you start with a proof of concept. Proof of concept is you don't have a lot of uh, of automation in the whole thing. The processes aren't automated. Uh, you may uh, get some offline data somewhere. Prove your idea is right. Prove the analytics works, and then. Uh, that's the the proof of concept or, or create a, a simple a simple ui for that it's it's very very a very basic thing and within the proof of concept phase what what do you need you need somebody who is going to lay the groundwork so you're going to need an engineer who is building the tools and for for the for the uh, proof of concept and what you what you need are data scientists Really, really, really good data scientists. Data scientists who understand the data. Data scientists who understand the, the, the tools, the technologies, and can work the analytics and can basically create you the, the outcome that you want. Right? You, and um, so you, you need a limited amount of people there. You need data engineers, data scientists. Then the next phase is you're going to go into a minimum viable product phase. Minimum viable product, you're going to start and offer this to a small group of like customers or internal, whatever. And <clears throat> what you then do is you expand the whole thing. You expand the operation. You get yourself more, uh, more engineers, you get yourself more people from the business side, you're going to um, create more processes of, of handling user requests and uh, payments and so on and so on. Um, but the groundwork, the analytics groundwork is there. Uh, you may need to expand it a bit or, work, or continue working on it. But um, the amount of data scientists you're going to get there is, is limited. And in these stages, you're going to are going to come and you're going to find machine learning engineers. And the machine learning engineers, these are the the people who are going who are specifically working on automation for the analytics. So it's not um, it's not like a, a data engineer who is building the platform and who is. Uh, working on ingesting the data and getting the data to the data scientist, the the machine learning engineer uses um, or or standardizes the stuff that the data scientist created or the data scientist worked worked at. You can you can like like the data scientist creates uh, analytics. He is, for instance, he's working with the data in Python, makes Python scripts, and uh, yeah, then. The stuff works, right? But it doesn't scale. It doesn't scale. You once you're going to the MVP phase, and once you're 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 expanding the whole thing, um, you need to uh, you need to do more automation in the whole uh, the whole process. And this is where the data, uh, the machine learning engineer comes in. The machine learning engineer, for instance, takes the the code from the data scientist and then he refactors it and uh, uses different tools that the that uh, for instance he he switches it to spark from a standard python script and then implements it there and makes sure that the the configurations are correct and 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 quick and easy and he is working on 
automating this whole thing. And so then the, the actual amount of data scientists you need is going down, but the actual amount of people who are doing engineering, this is, is going up. Oh, our small one is still crying. I don't know, he, he looks like he can't sleep. Uh, so I think we need to cut it short, and I need to help my wife. My wife. Uh, this is when you have kids. Uh, but this is this is why 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 people are seeing this this uh, this uh, machine learning engineer job. Exp if we call it, can call it explosion, you get the idea. <clears throat> and yeah. Once you have a lot of data data scientists or enough data scientists, you need to do automation. It's very, very simple, very, very basic. And yeah, I think Mike West, whoever he is, uh, can uh, is going to uh, agree with this. Yeah, uh, another, uh, th that's very interesting, uh, by the way. Uh, Kate Strachny has an interesting, uh, an interesting podcast about this let me quickly see if I can find it uh, from here it is oh, come on let me let's go over this come on come on come on come on come on skip the ads here it's this one it's this one it's with Ben uh, Bailorica Chief Data Scientist at O'Reilly and Chair of Data uh, Strata Data Conference. Um, he had the same opinion, uh, basically, in September. Uh, Kate said, Andreas, you need to look at this. He's saying the same stuff you are saying. Engineering is super, super important. And you need to you need to also have machine learning engineers and so on. But the engineering part is the more important part, um, because without this, its projects are going to fail. So, I, I personally I see a very very bright future for um, for data engineers. It's some. 